All right, so I am joined here with Kim Willis, who works for CMHA here in Windsor. Do you want to introduce yourself and tell us what you do at this organization? Sure. I am the Director of Communications and Mental Health Promotion at the uh, CMHA in Windsor and Essex County. So as part of that, I have a team that works on the fundraising, communications, volunteer management, and our mental health education and outreach. Cool. And do you want to give us a little bit of background as well about what CMHA is and what you guys do as an organization? CMHA is the lead provider and advocate of specialized community mental health and addiction services integrated with comprehensive primary health care services. And as part of that, we have over 20 programs that are able to assist those dealing with moderate to severe mental illness. But I should also note that we do have programs such as our pandemic response therapist, our workplace outreach worker, our bereavement program, who are able to treat those with more mild symptoms as well. Awesome. Could you give us maybe an idea of how big your organization is, if you know maybe how many staff you guys have? Yeah, we are actually one of the largest branches with uh, about 150 staff. And what kinds of staff are employed by CMHA? It's a good question. It's a multidisciplinary team for sure. We have several case workers that usually have their MSW or are registered social workers. We also have several therapists as part of our team. And since we have the primary care center located right on site, we have doctors, RPNs, RNs, physiotherapy, a foot doctor, So lots of different professions all uh, helping to both mental and physical health. That's great that you also mentioned covering physical health along with mental health because those two things definitely go hand in hand. So it's great to hear that you guys have a variety of staff on hand. Yeah, we take a very holistic approach to our clients and, and, and meeting them where they're at. And we know that physical health is such an important component when you're struggling with your mental health. So it's, we are we're very unique in that we have the primary care located on site as well. But yeah, it's all around meeting people where they're at and having that client-centered approach. That's fantastic. And could you also elaborate a little bit on who exactly can access your services and how they could go about doing so? Yeah, absolutely. So we are here to serve the Windsor and Essex County. So anyone is able to access CMHA services. You can call uh, 519-973-4435 and one of our intake workers will ask you a series of questions and then direct you to the appropriate program or service. In some instances, that may be a CMHA program, but in other times, it may be another community organization in Windsor and Essex that might be more appropriate based on what the individual is experiencing. You can also access our website, windsoressex.cmha.ca, to access information about our different programs and services, too. Thank you for that. And is there any way that people in the community, if they wanted to maybe help out your organization, uh, is there any sort of volunteering or donations or anything that you are looking for from the community, maybe? Yeah, normally we are all about volunteers and we, in a typical year or years, we would make use of volunteers at several events and activities that we have going on. Um, Everything from a golf tournament to helping at bingos to helping at health fairs. We really rely on our volunteers, but as we all know, 2020 has put a little bit of a damper on in-person gatherings. So we're looking forward to further into 2021 when we can uh, certainly revisit that. But we also rely heavily on donations and really do need the support of the community for some of our programs that aren't supported by the government. And examples of that would be our bereavement program. So anyone who's experiencing the loss of a loved one and and having trouble dealing with that and and moving on are able to access our skilled therapists. However, that is not a fully funded program, so we have to fundraise annually to make sure that that remains available. We also have our Client Assistance Fund, which was set up a few years ago to provide some short-term support in the way of gift cards or bus tickets to some clients that are um, in need. It's been very popular for our caseworkers and nice that we have that fund to access 
when there are those instances that um, they, someone doesn't have food on their table or needs to get to a medical appointment. And then most recently, through our Soul Focus Project campaign, we've been very proactive in offering our mental health, education, training, outreach, suicide prevention, and all of those are not funded by the government. And it's been hugely popular, increasingly so, as more and more individuals and workplaces and organizations focus on their mental health and wellness. And we know when it comes to mental illness and our mental health, that information and education is often our our means of early intervention. So that if we know some of the, the tools and information that we can utilize to, in support of our mental health, uh, that can really go a long way before you get further down that, that path and, and need more sophisticated support. So easy to donate. You can go to our website, cmhawindsoressex.ca, and right on our homepage is a, a donate button. Awesome. And we will definitely share that information on CGM social media as well to help you guys out and uh, promote your organization a little bit more because that's that's what this is all about. Obviously, uh, you mentioned 2020 and our situation a little bit. And Mm -hmm. it's something that we have been talking about constantly because, you know, it's it's what's going on right now. And as hard as it is to keep talking about it, you guys have you know, been starting some new initiatives. And did you want to just elaborate a little bit more on what you guys have been doing during COVID and uh, maybe any extra challenges that you've been facing? So we've been all faced with different challenges starting last March when the pandemic hit. And we quickly moved to do whatever we could to support the community. And fortunately, our, our mental health educators were very quickly able to move to online offerings for different webinars on topics as people were were struggling and this is uncharted territory for all of us. So we were able to move our education online. But also some of the other projects that came to fruition were the pandemic response therapist. So this individual is able to see anyone experiencing anxiety, depression, grief, in response to the pandemic. So you can call our number and and ask to see this individual. That position was made possible through some grants and fundraise dollars. So that made that possible. We've also been able to hire a workplace outreach worker. So like I said, we've seen businesses really wanting to do what they can to support their employees during these uh, rocky times. So this position Uh, when it's safe to do so, is able to go into different workplaces, help to provide some navigation support, because the mental health system is is difficult to go alone. And as much as CMHA and our partners try to simplify that process, it can still be daunting. So having this individual to help you navigate where to go, how to access it is really helpful. And she's also able to do some sort of short-term counseling, meeting people where they're at again. It's, it's so important that we know there's, there's lots of great resources and tools and apps that people can access, but that's one additional step you have to go. And for some people, seeing someone in person, you can't beat it. So she's able to do that as well. And then finally, Something that's really important for this community to know is there's now a Mental Health and Addictions Urgent Care Center, and currently it's located at the CMHA branch at 1400 Windsor Avenue. And this is for anyone that's in crisis, if you're having suicidal thoughts, it's a multidisciplinary team, it's a partnership with Hotel Du Grace Healthcare, open Monday to Friday. And again, it's in an effort to divert people from going to the emergency department, especially now uh, as the hospitals are are very busy with COVID and and other people that are sick with other um, diseases. This is a a way to divert from the emergency room and get the help and support you need. No appointment needed. You can just walk in. That's fantastic. I love that you guys have taken some steps to help alleviate the hospitals in the area. I think that's definitely something that's really important, you know, for our community right now. So that's great work on your part. Thank you. And then I also know that you guys have your Light Our Way holiday campaign happening now. Did you want to talk a little bit about that as well? Sure. So Light the Way is our annual holiday giving campaign, and it involves several components. 
We've had a display at Devonshire Mall. We do a direct mail appeal. We share lots of messages and information on social media. We do uh, an e-newsletter. So lots of ongoing information about supporting your mental health during the holidays, supporting your mental health during a pandemic, and also um, supporting those programs that I mentioned earlier that aren't funded. And also, um, we launched our first 50-50 raffle uh, a little while ago. The final draw is happening January the 8th. Easy to participate. Just go to CMHA, Windsor 5050.ca, and the winner is going to take home at least $6,000 at this point. We're hoping to grow that significantly over the next few weeks, but it's an easy way to support CMHA, and someone else is going to win and we will win at the same time. So tickets start at $10. So easy to get in on that and support CMHA while having a chance to win yourself. Amazing. And if people are trying to get in contact with you or just find out some more information about your organization, did you want to uh, mention how we can do that and maybe your social media accounts? So the website is, uh, I would start there, uh, windsorethics.cmha.ca. We also are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and you can find us under CMHA, W-E-C-B. And before we wrap up, is there anything else you wanted to add while we're here? No, I think it's just really important that if you are struggling this this season or any time to reach out, get help. There are services and people in this community that can help and that are available to talk to. So no one should feel like they're going it alone. And just reach out if you if you feel a need. And also, reach out to others. Isolation is, is a big factor right now. And if you, if you know someone that lives on their own or just, some, just checking in on your friends and, and doing what you can, I think that goes such a long way right now. So keep, those, keep connected. That's a, a campaign that we've had going through the, throughout the pandemic as well is just showing different ways, a lot of creative ways that people have gone out of their way to, to keep connected and keep that sense of hope and resiliency alive. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for your nice words. And thank you for your time, Kim. I appreciate you joining us and participating in CJAM's Joe Strummer Day. Take care. Yeah, happy holidays.